Costain uh, is an engineering solutions provider. We provide for clients in, in a number of sectors uh, across all stages of the asset life cycle. Process safety is important to our clients. They, they have major hazards in, in a number of sectors and therefore in seeking to provide services for, uh, for our clients we need to understand their problems, we need to understand their hazards in a way that allows us to provide the best service for what they do. Our process safety strategy at the moment is, is based uh, in a number of areas but one of which is, is an education program uh, and the reason for that is that I perceive um, with the demise of certain big chemical and process industry companies in the, in the last 20 years, the, the basic grounding and education in this field has, has we're, we're relying on what went before and what went before is getting further and further away in time. PSMO for me provides the opportunity to, uh, to most easily in-house the knowledge. Um, by which I mean you, you can head off and spend your money and, 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 and go to an external training but in some respects uh, the budgetary constraints are always there but, but for me there's also the flexibility of an, of an in-house delivered training which allows me to alter the focus not necessarily the data and the details but alter the focus of the discussions and the freedom to, to have those discussions is, is very beneficial in using PSMO but it also allows you know a concentrated focus you know we we have to provide smaller numbers of events and you know, the admin is clearly a lot more straightforward once people are available then they're available and away it goes within a short space of time um, the tangible benefit that I've seen so far is is a subtle shift in, in the way people approach uh, what they do and I guess in particular incidents that might have occurred. Um, the way we look at and investigate incidents has, has subtly changed, particularly the more complicated incidents. And, and for me the focus um, of our auditing has also changed. So interventions that managers make might historically have been about the worker and their immediate environment. Um, I'm beginning to see managers intervening on you know, what are the process hazards and what's our part in bringing them to pass or preventing them from coming to pass. So that, that, that's an immediate benefit. Well, gold standard for me was, it's, it's a recognisable thing especially with respect to the nature of, of contracts and, and we're a provider and we have clients and our clients have to decide who to go to and they're free to go to a number of potential uh, partners but it, if we can demonstrate that the, the training and education we give has a gold standard behind it then you know it, it's clear that we are both interested in the quality we give our people but that's which will be available to our clients when when we get together in contract. In getting out of the course my, my primary aspect was education not training but education because I'm, I'm trying to create a kind of ground level uh, and a groundswell of discussion on the subject so that's what I was after it, it provides that and more because some people uh, at the operator level uh, are seeing how they fit into the picture but equally, people at the director level are seeing what it takes from an operations side and we recognise the issues our clients have better than we might have in the past. Other people that might be considering this, particularly those in the, in the sort of service and, uh, and engineering provision world, um, it's extremely valuable. Uh, it's extremely valuable because the benefits come straight home in, in the way you approach your own business. But your clients will recognise that what you're doing benefits them and, and you're seeking to understand their problems uh, and on a personal level I've worked in client organizations uh, as well as service providers and you know th the issues I have in the middle of the night five years from now as a client are quite different from those which which might have occurred during the design phase. Um, but it's important to recognise that at the design phase and do the right thing. If, if your organisation is large enough in housing provides you with the flexibility to talk about the subjects you want to talk about based on consistent materials, it allows you to 
control quality, speed of deployment and things like that much more easily. Um, but at the same time, you know, you can build. There's no reason why one can't build on the materials that are there in order to, to be clear about specific issues.